Hi, good morning. Okay, so I don't even know where to start. In this vlog, I wanted to, I don't know what I want to do. We're just gonna see how the day goes. We're gonna see um, what happens, but I posted this video this one, the um, skincare, what what I do when I'm feeling sad, and you guys loved it. So whenever I do skincare, I want to vlog it and show you guys what I do. This looks pretty dark though. Is that better? So I just woke up. My skin has been feeling like I need a good exfoliation. Um, last night I did my favorite thing ever if you watch that video you know this is my new favorite machine ever it is from vanity planet i am working with vanity planet on this portion of today's video not for this but this has been like my little baby they reached out to me and they kindly sent me some items to test out and i immediately became obsessed and i was like i need to work with you i love you that's what I said. I do it a few times a week before I put my skincare products on so my skincare can really go into my skin. What I really like about this is that it just like really relaxes me, calms me down. My skin has been feeling pretty rough so I feel like I just need a good exfoliation. So I'm going to be using their microdermabrasion at home microdermabrasion machine. I've used a few machines like this in the past but none of them have compared to this beauty of a machine so this is a machine it's very nice and sleek it comes with like a little charging thing i normally like doing this at night but because i'm not really doing much today and i'm just gonna have like really good skincare on my skin i'm gonna do it in the morning but i recommend doing it at night so your skin has time to like heal and then i put my skincare products on after and your skin is gonna feel like a baby's bottom you get four different heads you get the normal head you get the massage head the fine head which look like that which i like on my nose and then the body head which i haven't used but you can use it on your body see here how it looks like sparkly that's the diamond encrusted head and that exfoliates and suctions away all the gunk on your face so i just put like a hot compress on my face so that my face is like nice and ready so i turn it on and it literally tells you exactly what you need to do, how long you need to do it. It makes it so easy, which is one of the reasons I really like. I use it on the auto mode at level one. You can go up in intensities, but I use level one. It has like the little head and then whatever section you're supposed to be doing, it shows it on the girl's face. So I'm using it on auto mode and I'm going to start it. So it's telling me to start on my cheeks. What you want to do is follow the arrows and you want to hold your skin tight. And I only go over each section once. You don't want to continuously go over the same section because it is a powerful machine, you know? The tighter you hold your skin, the easier it is to like glide. This is really a pretty look. I have a lot of pores in this area. So I've noticed that since I started using this, I've just been breaking out a lot less because it gets rid of like all, it just beeped. It's gonna tell me that I need to do my nose. I noticed that I've been breaking out a lot less because it gets rid of all the dead skin cells that like accumulate on your nose and your cheeks and everything which would clog my pores so I've been breaking out a lot less. I feel like this machine really works best when you do it consistently once or twice a week. You're gonna notice amazing results. Now I'm doing my forehead. I have to go out in each section. It feels like my skincare just like works better after. Now we're doing our eye area. So I only do like this area here. You don't want to be like pulling too much on your eye area. So I do this area. But this is really going to stimulate like collagen. And I just love this machine. I love pampering myself. And now we're doing the neck. That took like no time at all. My skin feels so baby, baby soft. I'm going to put on my skincare products now that I normally do. So I don't know if you can see, but my skin feels like fresh as a daisy. I need to put my um, carrot oil on because that's so moisturizing. Inside, there's like a little pad, but that's all the gunk from my skin. This is what it looked like before. You can kind of see. This is what it looked like after doing my skin. gross right i have a coupon code for you guys it's not an affiliate code it's just to save you guys money it's um this code right here i will also leave it in the description i'll leave a link down below i'm gonna go 
clean my house as usual. I feel like in every vlog, I'm like, I'm gonna go clean my house and get ready. We came to the Eco Museum on, and sing. on a field trip, field trip. The CNC team because they, Nikki was explaining that they say, what do they do? They like take animals out of like endangered environments and they like pretty much like nurse them to go back into their environments and it's really like a non-profit. It's so cute here. We love it. So it's not like an evil zoo? No, it's not a zoo. It's like they just like create their habitats for them, for them to go back into the wild. Rehabilitated or were born in captivity. Hmm. Just got out of the Eco Museum. I'm literally dying. 39 Celsius outside. It is so hot and I wore like a flannel. But since we're in um, this area, we thought we would, what is it called, Nikki? The four course meal challenge. The four course meal oh, yeah. challenge because we're all starving. So we're going to start with Dream. drinks. Ready? Okay. Okay. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Okay, now it's you versus you. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! I think we should get McDonald's Diet Coke. No, thank you. Total is 894. The first time. The total was 777. Perfect. Same kind of city. We're getting our Diet Coke, and now we're picking our next destination for an appetizer. Ready? Mm -hmm. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <gasps> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> As an appetizer, I. Well, does it have to be like on this side? No, it can be anywhere. I would like to try a KFC chicken tender. Okay. Okay. What? Yeah. Yay! Yay! Yeah. No, I'm excited. No. <laughs> So we got our Diet Cokes, and now we are going to KFC. Whoa, Whoa. they look good. Mm. They smell good. They smell good. Normally they don't put enough salt in the gravy. Okay guys, and, and everyone oh, take a ranch. Look how nice the buttermilk ranch, ranch package is. <laughs> ranch. <laughs> It's really hot for my hands. Really? Mine's okay. not that hot. Tony has the flat coke, the <laughs> scorching tender. Okay. One, two, two. three. It does taste. Mm. I'm super impressed. The ranch is amazing. It's really good. The mm -hmm. ranch might be superior. <laughs> the Harvey's? It's a good ranch. Yeah, well, has a vein. I wonder if you can ask for them like extra crispy. Probably. You could probably get them well done. Mm -hmm. But the I thing is, can. though, is if they fry them for too long, the chicken gets really dry. I like dry chicken. I really only eat dry chicken. You're you're not wrong. Let's rock paper scissors our next round. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> rock, rock paper scissors, scissors shoot. Tony. We're going I'm dying editing this because why do I sound so excited to go <laughs> to a mall food court? But the reason was because they just completely redid the whole food court at the mall that like I grew up going to and I they have all new restaurants. I was so excited to go to this food court. It didn't disappoint though. The Fairview food court, the new one is beautiful. For lunch we got, what is it, poulet rouge? Yeah. A little bowl. In the last week and over the weekend, I've been trying to get rid of a lot of stuff and declutter. I have a really big issue with decluttering. I have a hard time giving away things even if I haven't used it in three years. So in the process of like moving, I don't want to bring stuff that I don't actually need or use. So the first place I decluttered was under my kitchen sink. So I got this little thing at Canadian Tire. I'll link a similar, um, less expensive one from Amazon. But I just put my garbage bags in here, my dishwasher stuff, my soap, and my cleaning products. And this is my little bathroom shower thing. So if I need to take my cleaning products to the bathroom, I just grab this whole little basket and then I clean like my pantry. I'll show you guys upstairs a little bit later because I have to take Leo on a walk. It is a heat wave here in Montreal. So humid, so hot. I'm not complaining because it's it's actually pretty beautiful outside but it's just hard to stay outside because it's very hot. 7 a.m. now and I have to take Leo on a walk at this time because 
If not, it's too hot. I also went to Winners and got this pot. This is not like the flower flower arrangement I ideally want in it. I just had this here, so I stuck it in. But it's like this concrete looking vase. It. Ooh. I just love the look, like the earthy look of it. These flowers are um, over a week old now, but I also got this little vase because I got flowers for myself at Costco. They have like really cheap, amazing flowers. I got it and I realized I don't have any vases. So I went to Winners and I picked that up and they have like a lot of cute stuff, especially for your garden. They had so much stuff. Oh, also something exciting is I started Lindsay Harrods. What the fuck is that? Does that not look like a scary bug? I started Lindsay Harrod's Strong Girl Summer Challenge yesterday. I'm doing it one day behind because she's in LA, so I like working out in the morning, and she works out at 12, like my time, 12 p.m., so I'm, I'm doing it like one day behind, but I'm also I'm really working on my diet because this past few weeks have not been good for my diet. But we're gonna take Mr. Leo on a walk because he needs to go on a walk. Are you smiley? Look at that face. Oh my goodness. I always hear myself talking in a dog voice and I'm always like, why do you talk like that? But I think everyone talks like that to their puppy, right guys? So I didn't check in last night because a little thing happened and I was having a mental breakdown all night. But that's okay, that's besides the point. Seems to be happening a lot recently. Um, so today, actually let me get you set up. I don't know why I always start vlogging like while I'm walking, while I'm doing something. I'm gonna get you set up and then I'll catch you. Okay, we are set up now. I have my water, ended up having a little breakdown, but that is totally okay. We are all good today. <laughs> We're back on track, but I thought I would um, do a little, not get ready with me, but just vlog as I get ready. I also wanted to know and get your feedback on what you guys like genuinely are watching nowadays. I don't know if it's because I'm just like not watching as much YouTube that I'm like getting less, in not less inspired, but like I genuinely don't know what people are watching because I don't really watch a ton of YouTube videos. I feel like I used to watch a lot of makeup videos, like just in the background, I'd watch a lot of people um, get ready with me and doing their makeup and a lot of my people my people a lot of my favorite people don't really post as much as they anymore like Sam Ravindal she just had her baby so she's not really posting as much anymore I used to just like put her on in the background here's the thing okay I get a lot of requests for hauls and testing out new places showing you guys what's new and then I get once I do that I get a lot of messages be like like all you do is hauls and I'm like well that's all I get asked for. <laughs> so let me know what you guys want to do. I do want to do more of the bougie on a budget videos. If you have any specific stores you want to see me do it at, let me know. I do want to do a summer one at Walmart, so I'm going to try to do that probably next week. I don't know why it gets so hot in my house. I swear I go to other people's houses and it's like a refrigerator and my AC just doesn't cool. And you want to know the worst part? My boyfriend, which by the way, it's our two year anniversary today, works in HVAC and yet our AC doesn't work. It's always like that. If I could have it at like 15 degrees in here, I would. I like being freezing, especially when I'm sleeping. I need to be frozen. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this Fenty Beauty matchstick. Last summer, I remember this being my absolute favorite. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit and then I'm gonna go in and blend that out with a little of the True Skin Serum Foundation. I think I'm gonna like stop drinking for a little bit because I, I didn't drink for a long time and recently like when I go out for dinner or when I see friends will like have a cocktail and I noticed the next day I, I feel a lot like shit. <laughs> so I used to be able to just like drink and then go on with my life but I feel like if even if I have one cocktail or two cocktails like I get very anxious don't know if that's normal but or like not even anxious I feel like I get more depressed after like the next day I'm gonna go in with my all-time favorite born this way concealer also update on this this I got um, because my sister recommended this um, NARS Laguna cream bronzer I'm a huge cream bronzer person and it turns out that this one is one of the best ones I've ever tried. It blends super easily. It doesn't like feel too cakey or thick. Remember when people used to like contour with concealer? I, I definitely did that. How? 
my makeup used to be so heavy. Looking back, I'm like, how did you wear that much makeup? To school, okay? To school, I mean, I'm all for wearing how much makeup you want, but I did a full beat for school every single day. I swear, if I went to school now, there's no way I would be putting makeup on every single day. I was like a different human back then. Like, I would have class at 8 a.m. and I would put a full face of makeup on every single day. There is no way I'd be doing that right now. <laughs> Okay, so my makeup is pretty much done. It somehow got dark outside since I stopped filming. Like, it got really cloudy. Got how much I love this foundation. Makeup Sam does have to do my hair. It is literally pouring rain outside. I hope the traffic getting downtown isn't terrible. I wanted to quickly talk about this. Um, not sponsored, but they did send this to me. I am not normally a straight hair kind of person ever. I actually really used to hate straight hair on me because I feel like it would always just be like pin straight and flat. And then I tried this. This is the L'Oreal Steam Pod. I think I'm going to use it today. It makes, it gives the perfect straight hair. It like doesn't, okay, with a regular iron, it like straightens your hair so much so it's like, so straight whereas this one it like adds hydration to your hair and i feel like it adds like body to your hair it gives you like really pretty straight hair and also i have extensions and i also have real hair <laughs> shocker i know i don't know why i had to clarify that but i have um extensions and i find with other straighteners you can kind of see the texture difference between my real hair and my extensions. Um, Nolan did my extensions really well, so they blend perfectly. But I think I really want to, I want to show you guys the steam pod because it is amazing. And I honestly didn't think I was going to love it. Like I got a massage, I went into a hot tub, I went into the lake and it stayed perfectly straight. But I also wanted to try this, wait, this is smoothing. For thick hair, okay, fine hair. I don't know, do I have thick hair or fine hair? I think with extensions, I have thick hair. I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit. You're supposed to put this on damp hair, so I'm just going to put this on. And then I'm going to blow dry my hair as usual, and I'll be back to show you guys the steam pot because it is beautiful. Okay, so I just finished blow drying my hair. You can see it's like puffy and pretty straight but puffy. Honestly, I didn't know this even existed, but you fill the straightener, this little part up with water, and it steams your hair. So steam comes out, and I think there's like, this is like the hot plate too. The first thing I was really surprised by is I had curled my hair the day before, and then I received this and I tested it out, and it made my curled hair perfectly smooth, which if you've ever tried straightening previously curled hair, it can go straight, but it's just not like perfectly smooth. And this perfectly smoothed it out. So you can kind of hear the steam. <laughs> so creepy. So normally I start at the back, but I'll start at the front. All I do is go over it and it makes it super smooth. And then at the bottom, I curl it under because I like having like a little curl at the bottom or like, like a blown out look. There's a little comb at the bottom, so it's like, I don't know if you can see, there's a little comb, so it makes it very smooth. And then also, you can curl your hair with this. I'm not very good at curling my hair with a straightener, but you can do it. I really wanted to cut my hair. My sister's cutting her hair in a few days. And I think I'm gonna wait to see what she does and then I'll, I might cut my hair. I don't know, I've had long hair for so long. It's like a security blanket, but I always see beautiful short hair on Instagram and it always makes me want to chop all of my hair off. And then same thing for the last layer, super simple. I just straighten it and then I curl the front pieces in towards my face to give me like a little waved blown out effect. Always check the back of your hair before you leave the house. 
Okay, so my hair is done. I know it's about to get ruined as soon as I step outside, but it's 2.47. I have to leave in around half an hour. Okay, so I just left a doctor's appointment and the doctor, hmm, can't go that way. The doctor is right near my old house where I grew up in. I haven't been back in this neighborhood because it's actually quite far from where I live now, but I haven't been back in this neighborhood for years. Like I wanna say four or five years. It feels so weird being back because I spent so long here. Like this is where I started my YouTube channel. This is where Allie started her YouTube channel. I was obviously, I lived here, so I was here every day. And I haven't been back. Like, I don't know why I'm feeling like a little emotional. <laughs> I wish I could like knock on the door and be like, can I just look around, look at my old bedroom? So if you live in the Montreal area, I used to live in Il Bazard and I used to live on the St. Raphael golf course. None of me or my family played golf. My dad has never played golf in his life. I don't think he even knows how to play golf. I'm turning onto my street. if they changed anything so far the street looks normal we did not need this large of a house oh there's a ups truck not much has changed in the neighborhood since i left and this was our house looks exactly the same except they have a big tree in that window it looks exactly the same <laughs> that was fun now i'm gonna go home i'm so excited you guys sorry if you hear darren in the background but Today he was near the house, so he drove by it and he said they were like it was a house Like they started building it. So as you guys know, I was going Almost every day to see this damn house and it's just a hole in the ground like they did pour the foundation But it was pretty much just okay Leo Whenever I start vlogging he wants to go outside for the longest time. It was just the foundation So I kind of stopped going I was like this is depressing. I'm going like once a week and Nothing's happening and then he went today and they started building it I guess on Monday and there's like half a house in a few more days like the whole wood structure would be up so we're gonna go i'm gonna take you with us and we're gonna go see what they've done so far so this is like house update number two i'm so excited oh. this is the first time we're inside the house the upstairs that's not there so this is going to be the living room, the big back window, windows on the side, and then this is the kitchen. So this is going to be the whole kitchen. This is the pantry. You can see Leo. Bathroom, laundry room, 